Well, isn't this a pretty sight? These are my violas, which I planted last fall, and they are so delightful. And just in the last week or so, all of my little boxwood topiaries have plumped out and put on some new growth, and they're starting to look more like topiaries and less like sticks. So they're losing that uh, baby topiary look. And today I'm going to be going around and deadheading all of my daffodils. If you look behind my roses, which have leaves that are just emerging, you can see that a lot of the blooms are past their prime and it's time to deadhead them. And it is so important to deadhead daffodils because you don't want that bulb to be putting energy into making seed heads. So by cutting off those spent flowers you will be redirecting energy down towards the bulbs where they will multiply underground and if you take a daffodil seed it takes about four years for it to grow but a daffodil bulb can multiply very quickly underground so this is why you want it to be propagating itself underground and not above ground and the squirrels are so comfortable underneath the bird feeder that they're about six feet in front of me, just nibbling away at the bird seed I've put out. Aren't they cute guys? And behind it, I have a tipped over container looking like it's spilling ranunculus. And my friend Lori, who gives me so many things around the garden, gave me this wonderful container and I was going to just use it in a very boring way, upright, put some flowers in it, but I needed a spot for my ranunculus and she said I was going to use it as a tipped over container and have the flowers spill out and um, I don't have room for it. Sometimes she'll get things and change her mind or she's used it for a season or two and then she'll pass it along. But that's the wonderful thing about gardeners. We all share and pass things along. And um, the garden is always changing. Her garden's changing, my garden's changing. And it's always nice when we can share things. Get these little guys cute underneath the feeder. I just get such a kick out of them. And obviously they know where their bread is buttered. They're sitting right in front of me while I am shooting this video. Here's a closer look at my spilled ranunculus display. So far so good. I put them out right before a cold evening and they seem to have acclimated just fine. But I basically just put some dirt in it to weigh it down just the way I liked. And I have a little pot in the back propping it up. But it was very easy to do. And um, this is a mostly sunny location. Right now the sun is directly overhead, so the tree next to it is shading it. But this does get sun most of the day and it should be just beautiful. Here's a whole bunch that need cleaning up. And if you look closely, you can see that there's actually an area where these seeds would form. So like I said, although they make seeds, it takes a lot longer to get daffodils from them than if you just dig them up and divide them and let them spread underneath the soil. So let me go ahead and get these cleaned up. The ones right next to it are a different variety and came out later. So they'll, they are still going strong and they're absolutely gorgeous. They have a vibrant golden inner flower. Just beautiful. But it's important to note guys that even if you deadhead your daffodils with any bulb leave the foliage up until it naturally dies back itself. The foliage is what's gathering energy from the sun to feed the bulbs and that is how they grow by using that foliage. So don't mow your daffodils down completely. Leave the foliage up and cut off the spent flowers. Just go around and deadhead and then let those daffodils work underground. It's nice to have a variety of daffodils. These all white ones are a mid-season bloomer and they're still going strong. Just gorgeous. 
Over the years, I've tried to put a variety in so that I have blooms throughout the spring as they bloom early, mid-season, and late season. These are mid-season bloomers. Here's a gorgeous variety. I'm not sure what their name is, but they have uh, little bits of orange in the center. It looks like a double cup. Just beautiful. Let me know if you know the name of this variety. Comment down below. I'm on a quest to find bowling balls at the thrift shops. Here's what I'm doing. I'm going to add them into my rustic garden bed. I do already have a couple elsewhere in the garden, but I think they make wonderful sculptural elements. And they add winter interest when not much is going on in this flower bed. So I got, I had found, I scored and found a purple one and a red one. Pretty exciting guys. Should be a really, really nice way to add color to my rustic garden bed. Here's an interesting looking daffodil. It's got salmon in the center and it looks like lots more blooms are about to burst open. So it is a mid to late season bloomer. But I love having the different varieties. It really spreads out the bloom time. So thanks so much for watching today and don't forget to deadhead your daffodils.